All right, Matt. Yes. It's time. It's time. It's time. We're gonna play some disco. No, no, go no, no, to no, the no. disco. No, no, back it the up, back it up. Bar. This disco. is the this is the time where Jeff has to come out and be like, I was wrong. Oh my! Because back in 2019, I believe when Disco Elysium oh. first came out on the PC, I did a Patreon video for it. Mm -hmm. Now I, I think that Disco Elysium was a hard sell when it first came out because it was a shitload of text. It's just text uh -huh. and text and text and text. Text upon text. And trying to read all that out loud was very exhausting. And everybody was like, it's the best game I've ever played. And I was like, too much reading. I don't care. <laughs> it just, but then I finally went back and I played it last year. And Disco Elysium is an excellent game. And they just put out the Disco Elysium Final Cut this week Whoa. for PS5 and then PC. I think it's just for those two, though. Mm. Um, and this is totes a game that everybody should play. So oh. what do you know about Disco Elysium, Matt? You, you showed this game to me a couple, like, like back in 2020, you showed this game to me. Probably when I was playing it, yeah. Well, yeah, when you were playing it. And I, re I remember all this art style. I remember, like, how everything is kind of a, um, everything is based on some psychological stuff like there's all it's like these a, it's these opposing dice rolls right oh. but anyway before we should we should we should do this real fast okay so okay. Uh, I'm not, we're not going to do create your own because i don't understand well i understand it but i don't feel like dicking with it so we have three archetypes here we have the thinker who is mm -hmm. basically very intelligent um so down at the bottom you got intelligence mm. uh psychological fizz is like physical and motive is basically like agility okay so the thinker is very much like a sherlock holmes like kind of frail uh, not very sensitive to other people's emotions, okay. but like agile and intelligent. The sensitive is, this is the way that everybody's described this. Sensitive is more like, uh, uh, like Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. Oh. So a lot of empathy right. and a fair amount of like strength, but oh. not very agile and not very intelligent. Wow. And then physical is very much kind of like your hard fighting. I'm, uh, I'm hard drinking, I'm hard fighting. Two, Two-fisted uh, detective who has a lot of physical, a lot of uh, agility, but not very much in the intelligence or psychological. Dumb as category. a rock, as they say. Kinda, yeah. All right. So, what do you think, Matt? Where do you mm. want to go? Sensitive is a little too close to home for me because that's just me going around thinking I going around caring about people until I drive myself crazy. You're too sensitive for the sensitive. Fruits. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, I could, we could do that, <laughs> or we, it looks like we could create our own. Or yeah, just it's, it's just it, all that is is it's going to give you the points you can distribute them where you want. Right. So okay. I feel like I mean these are like basically uh, specializing in two stats and then dumping the other two stats, gotcha. which is more interesting anyway. So okay. Um, I mean the thinker seems like it would be the most interesting out of all three because he's again a Sherlock Holmes type. Very intelligent, very bad with people. Right. Knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Sure. All I right. think I played sensitive the first time that I mm. played. So okay. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you're ready, but uh, it's got a really good intro. Okay. Furies are at home in the mirror. It is, it is uh, their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. Now, we're actually going to be paying attention because <gasps> the whole point of this game is the writing. My God. Like, the gameplay is not a thing, even though I know what's going on. So All right. I love this beginning, though, Matt. There is uh, nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Jesus. <laughs> conscious for men sinning. No larger than a single grain of malt. Malt? Yeah. You don't have to do anything anymore. <laughs> what? Ever. What? Ever. Ever. So we can answer the ancient reptilian brain, or we can simply keep on non-existing. Which would you like to do? Uh, right? Let's answer the reptilian brain. Don't tell ever, me what to do. Ever, ever, baby. Uh, oh. <laughs> It is only void of so one of the things no ex-wives are contained within <laughs> That's one <of> the, great. <laughs> one of the things about this game is that everything is voice now. Uh, oh. I think this part was fully voiced before, but like every character has a voice and everything that comes out of your brain has a voice. So what do you want to this is great? Uh do you want to do this great? This uh this is great. This is great. Yes, it is. What was, was that, that about X something? Uh, X something? Creeps up on you. Oh, it's your limbic oh, system. Oh, it's one of these yeah. games. <laughs> Mmm. Oh boy. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. Uh oh. Uh, so I want to know about the X something. Do you want to know about the X something? Well, I feel like we're not going to get anywhere if we keep like marinating in juicy lizardness. Well, here's the thing: is that what I didn't understand about Disco Elysium the first time I played it is that failure 
is not the end. Oh. Your goal should never be just to simply succeed because this is more of like a weird people simulator <laughs> than it is like a people simulator. Like a win, 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 win. Like I would, I would quick save and then quick load if I if I missed a dice roll. But that is not what you should do in this game. Gotcha. So we okay. could try plunging back into the fathomless deep if mm, we'd like. Plunge back into the fathomless there. deep. No ball of me. No light in the fall. This is what happens every morning when I wake up. Just <laughs> swimming. Uh, you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion. I want to know what. Right up, <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Let's visit Ancient Zero Home. What does that even mean? Look, there's... I'm tired of being this type of animal who gives a shit. Oh, yes, Not please. You. Not you. Actually, we might have... Di we might be dying. Oh. Um, Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. Uh-oh. But what is this? Because um, the first Somewhere time I played this game... <laughs> I remember there's a moment where I accidentally read this note and it was like, don't do it. Like your internal, your internal pieces of your mind were like, don't do this. This is bad news. And after I read it, I just got so depressed that I just fell to the ground and died and it was game over. Oh, so. no. To the ointment. Your conscience sticks to it. Yeah. Ugh. and headed machine of pain. And I think I'm reading the lyrics to like a 90s industrial <laughs> song. <laughs> Yeah. Desert. Or a Katy Perry song. <laughs> <laughs> Longing, dancing to disco. Mother, <laughs> mother, help me. There's a head attached <laughs> to my neck and I'm in it. <laughs> mother. <laughs> oh, shit. The limbic system is Oh, no, back. not the limbic system. Oh, boy. Godly headache. Cut my head off. <laughs> it's trying to murder the rest of me. <laughs> Woo. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm wondering that. Yeah. yeah. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force Oh, your damn eyes it. Open. Oh, boy. It's a sound. It's a call from hell. From it. Oh. oh, we got Encyclopedia. A Caprice can name a Oh, Ooh. interesting. I actually know what that is. Okay. So we're, we're getting woken up by uh, the sound of a car. Oh. Um. So, in this game, you start as a man who went on a bender so hard <laughs> that he does not know who he is, what the world is, why he's here, or what the fuck anything Jeez, is. That's quite a bender. Oh, I can see his little dingle dangle. Uh, yep. Uh, so, uh, so, it's interesting because it, it gives you a nice framing device to figure out, like, what is the world? What am I doing here? Um... But, like, one of the things that they added, Matt, yeah. is a whole, like, um, they added it in four new side quests that coincide with uh, the different political outlooks that you could have in life. Oh, my God. So Whoa. here's the thing. This is the cool thing about this game is everything in the game is based on these 24 um, parts of yourself. Okay. So, like, we have high intellect, which means that we have, like, high logic. We have high encyclopedia. We have high rhetoric. Like being low in psyche means that we have low volition. So volition is like your morale. Mm -hmm. Inland Empire is like hunches, right? Mm. So because we have low psyche, we don't have very good hunches. But we, like we do have really good conceptualization. Uh, we do have really good drama. And what will happen is while you're playing the game, these various parts of your brain will like kick in with suggestions and you'll have to roll based on like the amount of points that you have in these things in order to do stuff. So like let's say that you wanted to um let's say that you wanted to sing a song. Okay. You would need like good savoir faire. Oh, um, okay. See, savoir faire urges you to be better than you are. It urges you to be disco. disco. Slip like by it. others in the Samaran boxing uh, style, then tumble out the back with unexpected aero uh, uh, acrobatics. acrobatics. So like you have things like shivers, which is like, um, you know, the feeling of the city, like speaking to you at night. Wow. Like you get, f you get that from like, 
you know, uh, and then you have like in psyche, you have things like a spear decor, which is like your your kind of cop senses or like authority, right? Oh, okay. Like which you can use to intimidate people. Okay. So the thing is that this is an RPG where you 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 don't actually fight anybody. You literally fight by using rhetoric to get an answer to the question that you that need, is, or maybe uh... not. And then as you move on, you get to level up. And, but like the base units of these are. Uh, are, are what your base stat is and then like you can see that like with empathy we can only put one point into it because we only have one point in psyche so you can only ever get your empathy up to two so if you have something that needs like a high empathy check you might not be able to do that but you can change things like empathy if you wear the right clothes and or take drugs <laughs> I, I, I'm I mean these these uh, the art style in this is really doing it for me. It's uh, it looks like old uh, album covers, like for something like uh, something that Kurt Cobain would have worked on. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. So this guy is a jazz musician that does oh. all of the all of this new voiceover. Oh, cool! It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. Aluminium. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. So you can't actually leave your room until you have pants on. <laughs> in rags is a hostile cafeteria. Oh, that's interesting. Urban coast. So in my game, when I played as a psyche, a psyche character, I had to like ask about that. I know, like oh. people had to tell me about that. But like because we're so goddamn smart, like we know all this shit. Yeah. Uh, so let's see if we can find some more stuff. Oh, it's your tie on the on the on the ceiling fan. Uh, here's a jacket. Here's uh, put this on. Fucking, fucking jacket. Oh my god. Oh my god. You ever been? You ever been that hungover? Fuck yeah. All okay. The time. I, well, I, I I try not to do it anymore because um, it's bad for you. No, because the returns the are stands broken in its frame. Diminishing returns. Ret cool. Yeah. So like, here's the thing, Matt, is that to get that hungover, I have to get so drunk that I can't barely walk or speak, which is not fun because I'm trying like anymore when I'm drinking i'm just staying at home trying to watch fucking t tv uh -huh. so here oh we've got really high intelligence so we can assess the damage to this window and so we have to roll oh, okay versus the window Shards face outward. Oh. whatever broke this window came from the inside did i break it with my own hands a fine web of scarring covers the huh. back of your right hand but none of it is recent so what More did this a projectile than a held object there are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Okay. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like a bottle. Like <laughs> the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh. Is missing its frame. Is that something that wasn't pointed out in your other playthrough? <laughs> you smashed the window oh. with your own shoe. <laughs> now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. You mean someone else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? Shut up, brain! This person <laughs> also forced the drinks on you. Wow. I should go get that shoe. The cold wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the... Top. So what's interesting is that I didn't get this quest to get the other shoe before because oh. I, didn't, I wasn't smart enough to realize what had happened. <laughs> so here's the... Here's the fucking hi-fi. Uh, I like it. We broke. It's broken. Um, so, real to real tape player. It's like someone pulled the tape out while the song was still playing. Oh, uh, is that what all the that stuff is on the ground? Yeah, it's like oh. tape. It's like, remember old, oh, like, tapes? Yeah, yeah. Tape. So, you got one shoe. I'm going to tell you right now, Matt, that, yeah. like, when I played my game, it took me, like, three hours to find my other shoe. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Should we try to get our tie? Yeah, get our fucking... Oh. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has horrific. attached itself to it's one. It's a good voice. Place. If you got to listen mm. to this voice for 30 hours, it's oh, a good yeah. voice. Oh, yeah. So we got about an even chance with our savoir faire skill to be able to jump up and grab it. Yep. So. You swoop up and catch the There you go. Right. Snap. It's released from the blade. If you. Uh, so on the. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize. Oh, fuck. What? what you have uh, is a truly hideous necktie <laughs> with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. So down there in the bottom corner is our health on the left and our uh -huh. psyche on the right. Uh huh. Because we have specialized so hard, we have two hit points and one psychic point. 
So if we messed up that that roll, it would have damaged our psyche because oh, we tried no. it, but we fucked it up, so we felt all embarrassed and shit. Ugh, I feel embarrassed. And here's the thing. With one psyche point, I'm not entirely convinced that we might not have died from doing that <laughs> because we're so psychologically brittle. Oh, no. We might have just, like, embarrassed ourselves to, to death. death. In our on our apartment by ourselves. In our uh, in our uh, our uh, 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 our attempt to get our tie off of the ceiling. Wow. Um, a mirror hangs above a bed. We might actually. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Yeah. Jesus. Was this not the same Eno that founds empires and lays waste to cities? What great writing this game has. It's really good. The little things. Probably not. It's got. Well, it's. it's I like, like the fact that conceptualization and logic are having a fight. Like, oh, oh! I just realized that <laughs> the I'm, different parts of your brain are like arguing with each other. Oh. Water sprays from the faucet's base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. And this is why we don't have a character portrait. Oh! Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Okay, I'm actually going to. Um, save my game i'm not okay. entirely sure that again i don't know that this might that looking at our face on the wall. like when we try to do this the game is going to try to stop us oh, okay reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror abort you clearly have not thought this through so you that's inland empire oh never unbecome it so like you can actually do this while you're going in here so you could say inland empire is uh, the unfiltered wellspring of imagination, emotion, and foreboding it enables you to grope your way through invisible dimensions of reality, gaining insight into that which sight can't see. So, like, our our intuition basically is telling us, like, don't look in the mirror. Uh, you won't like what you see, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. Fucking, oh, ah. Ah. You Behold. Have no idea who this thing is. This Dude. thing? Dear Lord, of course I do. It's some kind of superstar. The face of a late stage alcoholic. I think I'm a superstar. Yeah, we're a superstar. You're also dead. Uh, There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? <laughs> Are you trying to make an expression? Hey, shut face? up, mirror. God damn, mirror. Uh, I think it might be. I think it might be because I'm a superstar. Yeah. It's horrible. You're scary. No, this is what superstars do. <laughs> no. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face. And now this, this guy's brain is what shitting. <laughs> what is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom. God, no. I think it's supposed to Looks look suggestive. suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. It's anyway, then I'm vaguely sympathetic, I think, sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has been kind of way. Expression of pain. Let's just stick with superstardom. Yeah. Yeah. Our psyche isn't strong enough to handle no. uh, like self-actualization. <laughs> 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 Check for a pulse. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. Okay. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive. Uh, let's try looking for the source of the expression. Sure. It belongs in the new, the oh. third decade of the current century. Okay. What? Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution. This is why it's for a fleeting moment. Free market I feel like it's easy to bounce like off of a game that starts like this. Yeah, <laughs> I can really see for that. Like, you really need people to be like, no, 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 no. Just, you, it's like you just got to get in that Things warm bath and stay there. Yeah. Smooth sailing. People make gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times. Calling this the new style. <laughs> but more importantly, Matt. disco happened. Disco. Oh, oh my God. Shot. Your city. That meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. Thank you, drama. Thank you, drama. Out of the dazzling swirl of oh disco God. music in an open air, what de nuit, somewhere what? in a river show west. Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. <laughs> he sang some bullshit. <laughs> then he made the expression. I guess that's it then. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume in a champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. So we don't have the electrochemistry, which is uh, the animal within the beast longing to be unleashed to indulge and enjoy. Ah. It enables you to take drugs for your side effects, et cetera, et cetera. 
Um, These writers had an open thesaurus next to them the entire time. So you could try to stop. But, like, the other thing is that, okay, so there's white checks and red checks. White checks can be retried if you, like, add points to stuff in your, in your stats. Or you get clothes that'll help you change it. Or sometimes you'll just get information okay. that will make it easier to do a check. Red checks can only be done once. And if you fail, you fail. Um, so we probably should not try this because our chances right. of success are extremely low. Yeah. But, like, um, electrochemistry... Is also the part of your brain that really, really, really fucking wants you to do drugs. So, like, ah. anytime there's a problem, electrochemistry would be like, will come up and be like, you know what could solve this? Wine. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, shut up, brain. Shut up. Uh, okay. Wow. So, this is, this is, I, I am already kind of into this. Uh, well, hi, everybody. So what I didn't actually realize was that if you come down here, you can go outside. Oh. At the end of the first day, you come out here with your partner to have a smoke. Okay. Um, and that was when I found my shoe. Oh. I didn't realize <laughs> I spent like the first 10 hours oh, of the game with one no. shoe on. I was like, I definitely, don't know. Definitely want to go back up and talk to that lady up there. Yeah. Let's see here. So these are just shoe. like when you get these yellow things, that's just like stuff, like uh, observations. Ah. So you can say. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. So, All right. And whoop, what's this? Gust of briny wind washes over you. And we got our second shoe. Woo! All right. All we're, right. uh. Well, they both are. Two identical shoes. <laughs> so if you. Copiously green. If you in are a sensitive in this game. Uh huh. Reunited on your uh, I don't know if like you could do it. Baby Wait, hold on. Let's see if we could do it. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. So you do get. All, you also get morale back for like doing good stuff. Okay. And, and health. Sometimes, yeah, too. you get your shoe back. You like your shoe, but it's more just like it's this weird, fucking holistic, like, oh, hey, my shoes fit really well today. That just kind of makes me feel better. It's weirdly wholesome. <laughs> I kind of love that. Um, so I don't think you can do it, uh, here, but in if you're a, a, a high psyche, uh, person, no, you can't. If you're a high psyche, uh, person. Like, you'd have a lot of feelings. You can have a conversation with your horrible necktie, and it <sighs> answers. And you can have that conversation Ooh. throughout most of the game until a plot point literally happens that involves your horrible necktie, and it's amazing. That um, is kind of amazing. Guam, so that's the thought cabinet. We'll get back to that. Wait. Oh, do, do we have Guillaume de Million in our thought cabinet? Oh, shit, we do. Apparently. So this is the thought cabinet. Matt. Okay. You see all the little things? Your mind palace. Exactly. It is your mind palace. Okay. So you have a certain number of slots, and what happens here is you say, okay, here's the th it's whatever happened to Guillaume Lemillion, who with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, big out the tattered remains of the nation. What, uh, while you suffered and, and suffered, did he dematerialize into a cloud of cocaine dust, <laughs> or did he simply stand in the corner and melt into uh, the slendering new lines of some starlit boite de nuit 20 years ago? Fucking Christ. Spare a thought for his great ass, too. Or wait, maybe he became a police officer in Revachel West. Hmm. hmm. So what you have to do in the mind cabinet, in the thought cabinet, is you have to attempt to internalize this, which will take four hours and 30 minutes, and then will result in a solution that gives you certain types of bonuses and also certain drawbacks. And you can, like, forget these thoughts and internalize other things. Like, one of them later is communism. And if you internalize, like, communism, then you get better, like, dialogue options with people. But then while you're internalizing the cabinet, the stuff... Like, you can see that you get minus one logic because your head's in the clouds thinking about this disco guy for four hours until you can figure out what ever happened to that one fucking disco guy, and then you remember it, and you're like, oh, and it changes who you are as a person. And that is why this game is amazing because it's so dense that I feel like if you didn't have somebody like me to sit here and tell yeah. you, you'd be like, what the fuck, game? Yeah, like, this, is, this, is a, this is a Bloodborne, Dark Souls, need a Sherpa situation. Yeah. I... You know, I th sometimes think of myself as a writer as well as an artist. Mm -hmm. Shit like this makes me feel bad. Well, um, but this not, is not, not feel bad. It just makes me think like, oh, I'm not a writer. Um, well, you know, <laughs> I, these are, these are also these people. This is a very, this is a very like. High, polished, yeah, high concept, and like the people. This is based on, I think, like a book, uh -huh. and then like the guy that wrote it, like 
like collaborated with these guys. Gotcha. So you want to talk to her, huh, Matt? Yeah. Is a cigarette. Classier. Miss Orange Disco Dancer. Oh, okay. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with Hey, look. Marks. Our eyeballs are telling us stuff. Okay, good. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor. Whoa. Sparkling. Conceptualization's cool. I never had yeah. enough intelligence for conceptualization. <laughs> That's cool. So... Uh, officer, my military personnel. So, do you want to talk? You want yeah, to talk to her? Uh, no. Uh, Chief executive. Then why did you call me? Because officer? you're a police officer, sir. God damn right, I'm a policeman. Don't, don't you, you forget, forget it. it. Um, <laughs> what do you want to do, man? I don't know. I kind of want to do number just, three, but number just do one. Do whatever. Do whatever. Do right, whatever. Um, like we should very much go with your gut because if you try to make the optimal right, choice, you'll that. end up not having as much fun. All right. Well, okay. number three. Oh, cool. I won't. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just getting into character, you know. Uh, okay. Oh. How did you know, sir? You've been here for three days. <laughs> On official police business. I like her delivery. Mm. I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Mm. So we don't really have enough empathy to oh. do suggestions. Uh, no, 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 you want Try the expression on her. Jeez. Yeah, I don't think you can, act, even if you have, like, the psyche thing, uh -huh. I think it's low. Yeah. Because you're just like, you don't really know. But you can see that we did get plus one from saying, God damn right, I'm a policeman. Oh, okay, so, cool. Confident. Uh, uh, who right mind would let me be an officer of the law? That's that's the one. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Oof. <laughs> um, I remember being cock, right mind, so police officer. Yeah, who? who oh, yeah. Maybe because of the drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. Her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. Oh. Okay. So why don't we get yeah. going? Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Oh, no. See ya, Classier. Bye. You as she's Bye, I love you. Bye. <laughs> a need. The need to ask questions. Mm -hmm. It's like you questions. said questions a million times before. Wait. Oh, shit. We've got high motor mot motorics, so that means our reaction speed. Like, we, we come to conclusions faster. Oh. Like, when I was Psyche, I think Psyche is, like, beef like a uh, body and then psyche so i didn't have any of these yellow she options you, a light glinting off her eyes mm. what if i don't want to ask questions or do you want to try to ask uh, questions? before you go i have some questions yes yeah uh um, let's see your room is next to mine did you hear anything tell me is it 51 I'm right curious now curious about what happened last night uh there was the usual ruckus Loud disco music. No. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Mm. Loud disco music? Loud disco music. Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Oh, oh. nice. She raises an eyebrow waiting for the name to connect oh, with you. That. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> the less said about OO, oh, oh, the better. Okay, I don't even know this. Okay. I don't know if this is new or just because I didn't play that. My like. perception. Huge where I come from. Oh. oh. I was very young then, of course. Like seven. Oh, no. Life gets hard, but we go on. Okay. Yeah. Mostly gets hard, doesn't it? <laughs> At around two o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. Uh oh. What happened? Slow, sad songs started playing. Oh. Like, organ music on repeat. Dun, 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 like oh recently, my God, we've been doing ways. this for thirty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and like we haven't really even gone downstairs in the oh. whirling and rags yet. All so, right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna see. Is this more money? I'm gonna need some, some money. Money? Nope. This is the weekend edition of the newspaper. All right. Um. Yeah, I. This is. I don't know. I cannot. I cannot replay this game. I cannot play this <laughs> game again. I kind of want to. I kind of want to make a physical character mm. because I've never, I never did that. And like, there's plenty of situations where being able to like brute, like be a brute, uh -huh. would be very useful in this uh, game. Okay. But I was always just too weak. So yeah, and this, um, 
Big old karaoke mic. This place sucks. Um, <laughs> this music is so burned into my brain. Oh, my God. You spend so much time in the here. I mean, honestly, this is, oh, man, they use old pallets for the stage. That's rough. <laughs> Speaker scraped to the radio. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. Inland Empire, I have no emotions. <laughs> what are you talking about? This, my soul is modest. It's normal sized. Exactly. It's measured. Level. Yeah, Inland Empire and wants to, to tell you what you want to hear. Inland Empire wants you to get up on stage. It's that. PA system. It's that. Inland Empire is I that voice that makes you sing karaoke, but only when you're fucking wasted. So. Yeah, I've done that. Um, oh, boy. So before we leave, well. I, tell you what. I, I can't wait to um, let's go talk to uh, I can't wait to get to Japan again, uh, especially because I'm going to make Kasten go with me and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to get her. You've got to sing karaoke once. You have to do it <laughs> one time. So here's Kim. Oh, ah. Kim is your partner and he's the best boy. So best boy mm -hmm. he, on the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Shake his hand. Yeah. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be sounds from like the they, Sounds like they got somebody who's actually of Japanese descent to voice that. That's a nice touch. Uh, Invent uh, a name for yourself? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't think I've ever been able to do this. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Concentration <laughs> makes you squint your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like a forest fire looming. Okay. Mixed with the stench of I love this. This is this is what you get when you try to remember your name. <laughs> it's not time yet. Okay, then. <laughs> it looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Okay. Saturday too, I <laughs> Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is he has been trying to meet up with you for two days. Oh, rhetoric. Have been otherwise occupied. Yeah, you've been like wasted for two for three days. What is rhetoric? Uh, cool for ideologues, convert conversationalists, would be politicians. Rhetoric urges you to debate, make intellectual discourse, nitpick, and win. Oh, it's the internet. Oh, it's that good. Inter okay. It's that emotion that makes you go on Twitter and say be why. Like, no, this is why Godzilla vs. Kong is right. better than the Snyder Cut. You yes, <laughs> yes. Um, so should we lie or should we go try to uh, talk to him or should we just no? Say, I haven't. No, uh, we haven't. We, we should shouldn't lie. We should just go over there and talk to him now. Then we should ask him for a rundown of the area. Get me up to speed. I understand the scene is old. It's nice to have a professional. <laughs> it also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. <laughs> <laughs> have you mapped out the initial interview? Yes, the police. Yeah, I'm, aware. I'm aware I'm a policeman. <laughs> uh, uh, I haven't. You haven't? Okay, no. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take uh, it. Kim is great because Kim doesn't let you get away with a lot of shit, but Kim also uh, kind of like is like he's like a police partner, right? Where mm. he's like, well, my partner is like this drunk, but like he's my partner. So I'm going to back him up. OK. Uh, have you removed the dead body from the tree? <laughs> no. So the body is still in the tree. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh no! <laughs> we go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Uh, 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 I keep you so sure, please, but I can't remember anything where we supposed. So you can let him. You can. You can. He doesn't actually really like to hear that you don't that you've got amnesia. Uh huh. But he will cover for you, and he's understanding. Okay. Well, maybe I, maybe we should say like I can't remember anything. I mean, I'm asking. I just kind of uh, want Matt Frank gut checks. So uh, you want to say you can't? I, you want to tell him? Uh, you tell me you can't remember anything? Yeah, I guess so. Go for it. I can see you drank last night. And the night before, and that you are still drunk now, but I have seen officers go through. That's another stuff. thing, right? Oh. Is he's seen a, a lot? If so you need something for your headache. There is. Oh, he's so right. nice. Kim's a, Kim's great. He's a good boy. Yeah. Number one concern. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. After you, officer. So now I'm about to embark on an investigation. Oh my gosh! Shouldn't you have a badge? We shouldn't have a badge or something. <laughs> Check you your mean badge. You don't have a badge. Uh, it wasn't on me when I woke up. <laughs> I have my badge. I'm a policeman, and I have my badge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll work well, great. Would you want to do that, or do you want to be uh, straight? <laughs> let's do. Let's do. It wasn't on me when I woke up. Using yeah. your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. Mm -hmm. I advise you to try to locate it. As He's just looking possible. after us. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Yeah. 
finding your badge in this game takes a long time. Oh my god! Uh, and then you also find out that you don't have your gun either. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, what's up? Harry is not the best. Okay, uh, this is Harry. Uh, this no, this is the manager. Oh, got got uh, a man in his late twenties with a thin, unimpressive beard. Notices you approaching, he drops the ledger he is holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mister Got right. Got. <laughs> Uh, you run this place. Yes. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. And then he looks at you, realizing you still don't know your name. The Harbinger of Ruin. What is golden I, orange like a forest fire, but smells like liquor? I'm <laughs> currently in between names. I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> It's like when you've le uh, when you've left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo. <laughs> I'm really tempted to say that, but we should just let Kim talk. You want to do it? No, yeah. I think you should right, just be just, crazy. Yeah, like, let's I, be funny. That's it was like wonderful, really. I think so. But there's a dead body up there. No one wants to work in these conditions. It's been a week. Mm. Yeah, mm. sorry about that. I was busy, sir. I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job, and for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. Yep. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was yeah, you. Okay, how long was the... Okay, correct? I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> no, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called... Poor you. Sylvie. She Aww. works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. All right. So we get Syl this Sylvie's number. Like something you can use. No. <laughs> Thank you, reflexes. <laughs> All you right. You just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only <laughs> sometimes come here. What, of Pflugerville? Nah. It's, it's, I'm from Buda. <laughs> it's actually really important to know the layout of this place uh, because these are all like kind of different districts uh, and yeah well there's also a lot of politics in this game oh uh, gotcha uh, yes, like between Pflugerville and Buda right, no <laughs> <laughs> like between France and England oh good point all right I'm not going to start working here again so like Pflugerville and Buda no oh. man <laughs> I didn't plan comedy comes in threes yes <laughs> ask your questions right questions I, I got questions space breath for frowned ask out about the body's location before asking if he killed him. Okay. Information in the more innocuous question. So this is where, like, you know, this is essentially, like, uh, this is what's so cool about this game is it's like you're intelligent, and so your rhetoric is telling you the logical way to try to interrogate this guy right. instead of just being, like, because I think that if you were more, like, empathic, like, your brain would have just been like, oh, this guy doesn't like you, don't. Oh, just go away. Just go away. Just fuck off. Right. And then your limbic system would, or your, uh, uh, what well, that one is like, drink! And you're <laughs> like, God damn it. Oh, no. In this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Oh, God. Yeah. It's easy. See that door there? First, you exit through that. Boop, 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 boop. Right, you should see a big hole in the fence. Yeah. A really big one. Okay. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. All right. This man means the heavy cavalry. Oh, my God. Encyclopedia. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you remember when we had to remember stuff in our brains? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. What is... What's a brain? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. This is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Before you said who they hoisted him up on the tree. They? Who did you mean by they? Yeah, good point. Uh, oh, people are saying it was the union dock workers, that it was a lynching. Oh, mm, that's the not locals, good. The customers, the people who eat here, a lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Interesting. Mm, okay. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers lynch this man? I suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> would you think I'm that? pretty sure they do. Oh, yeah, they're on strike. Uh. Yes, the strike. The he makes little quotation marks. The security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send a message. Okay. Mm. Do you want to ask if he killed him? All right, we need to, uh, we need to get out of question, here. So, yeah. um, all right. Let's go. Oh. So fast, you owe me 130 real. Uh, I have like 40 cents. Uh, uh, slip away 
Yep. You want to try? Yeah. It's kind of even odds. Yep. All right. Oh, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we tried. No. One moment you're running like the wind when you suddenly turned around and giving him the finger. Furiously with both hands. Why? The lady in the wheelchair is behind me, isn't she? Why did I do this? Why did I have to use both my hands to flip him off? Why both? Why did we do that? Uh, do you want to do this? Uh, sure. And we're going to hit the lady. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that lady's so nice. Oh, no. She's so nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Did we did we lose? Did we? Goes dark. What? So soon. I had an accident. <laughs> no accident. Those were disco moves. Oh, cool. Spinal cord. The spinal cord has yet to reveal itself. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I don't know, Matt. We might have just lost. Holy mystery. I don't know. That just comes off as lazy effort at recontextualizing the antics of his champlain truck. Pretty much. It comes off like that. It's because it is. Oh. <laughs> and Shut up, Leonard Cohen. <laughs> I was wrong to let you go. Uh-oh. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Uh-oh. Is it terrifying? Yes. Have you felt the love? I sure as hell haven't <laughs> felt no love. It's too bad. Uh oh. Aww. We all need a little love. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, I think we... zoologist's wife. Yes, Lena's awesome. Okay. No. You oh. Sustain the trauma to your lower neck. Okay. In addition, you have strained your left trapezius muscle. So we just fucked up real hard. <laughs> oh my god! Why did we run and then double? Give him the double bird. The chair took the brunt of it. Oh, Don't we did worry. run into her. Are you sure, man? Yes, yes. Check on him. So Lena's so nice. Sir, I didn't. I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> This has always been a cop-friendly place. <laughs> he seems shaken. No. Oh my God! <laughs> drinks are on the house, okay? What? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window. Oh, okay. Now, wow, he knocked place. thirty bucks off. Okay. Um, shaken. Barton now, and he'll cave in. Um. Uh. Do you think? Mm, should we try it? I won't pay for the window. Our rhetoric is telling us to give it a shot. Sure. Okay, fine. Yeah! Sleep in a post-apocalyptic hellhole if you want to. Just know I won't give you another room. Cool. Not entirely cool. <laughs> you still owe me 60 real for three nights stay. Oh, you know what? If I don't have advice tonight. I can't let you back up. Oh, there. okay. Okay. No, that gives us time. Sake, watch out for yourself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The whole t uh, Kim is just like, oh, fucking really? <laughs> Kim won't put up with your shit forever. Okay. So what wow. is this? Where, where is her? Oh, Dressed discard that thought. Um, all right. Well, we're out of time. So oh, man. I tell I you what. really enjoying this. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, I thought about, Matt, I honestly thought about doing this as a sequential, but it's like 30 hours long. It would have been like when we decided to do The Witcher, like hour-long episodes every week for the next eight months uh and it's like well that's a bit much that's a bit motherfucking much so in the meantime i'll leave everybody with the gruesome oh. scene oh no and kuno don't throw rocks at him uh Ooh. kuno sucks um, anyway, we'll come back tomorrow, and we'll talk to Kuno, and Matt can find out how bad Kuno sucks. Oh, no. And not just Kuno, but Kuno S as well. Kuno is kind of tragic, but he sucks. Kuno S is a real big piece of shit. Okay. Um, anyway, thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, subscribe. Patreon.com forward slash Rage Select. Uh, help us out. Kick us some bucks. In return, you get to bonus videos. You get a Discord server. The end. Those are the two things you get. Uh huh. What do you, what do you, what do you want? I just, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know how much shit I've got to do. You got stuff to do. Um, so yeah. Uh, Matt, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me over at mattfrankart.net, patreon.com slash mattfrankart. I got so much shit I'm working on right now. Fuck it. So much. Okay. So just so that's build. what you're saying is that you need a 30 hour video game to, yeah, to really dig into. Yeah, that's what I need into. to do. I need to, I downloaded that werewolf game. 
and I played like 20 minutes Werewolf of it. the Apocalypse? Yeah, I thought it would be fun. Oh, and it, it's boy. not bad. I, I'm like, it's just kind of like, eh, it's all right. It's not the best. It's fine. Anyway, uh, join us back here tomorrow Just for more play investigations. Play Maneater again. And uh, more, more other things. Bye. <laughs>